Hello, this is The Provoked Brawn, and this is a video to compare two fantastic wireless gaming headsets, the Logitech G Pro X Wireless, that you can see here next to a refreshing beer, and the Corsair Virtuoso XT, which is Corsair's flagship wireless gaming headset. Now, both these headsets are designed to work on PC and other devices, but you'll get the best performance out of them on PC with the best quality sound. The Corsair Virtuoso is a flagship device and the most expensive headset out of these two. It's also the most expensive in Corsair's lineup and includes a number of connection options that you can see here, as well as Slipstream Wireless, you have USB-C 3.5mm and you also have a Bluetooth connection and I'll talk to you a bit more about that later on. As you'll see, a premium headset with a really nice design aesthetic to it. Also boasts some serious specs that include 50 mil drivers, up to 40,000 hertz frequency response, 48,000 hertz sample rate when used on Bluetooth, and 96 kilohertz 24-bit audio when plugged in using that USB-C connection on PC. It also has Dolby Atmos surround sound and a multitude of options in terms of the equalization settings within IQ and in within Dolby Atmos when used on Windows. This is an upgraded version of Corsair's Virtuoso SE, which you can see on the left here. I'm going to do a separate video to compare it with and talk to you about that. And it is on paper and potentially in practice, a very nice headset with a number of really nice features to it, a really nicely built headset with multiple connection options and great sound. It also has one of the best microphones that you'll get on a wireless headset or on any gaming headset. This is a detachable broadcast quality microphone with a really nice capture quality to it. Check out the unboxing and review video where I gave you a review sample of that where I use the microphone throughout the entire video so you can hear the quality of it. And the same for the Logitech as well. Because unfortunately I don't have both headsets on hand to be able to show you the mic quality now. But you'll see that the mic capture quality on the Virtuoso is undeniably fantastic. It's also a detachable microphone which means that you can use this headset as headphones if you want to without that mic. And that mic mute button also allows you to activate side tone, which is pretty neat. The Logitech G Pro X Wireless is an upgraded version over the wired variant that came out a bit before that. And it is a very nice headset for a number of different reasons. It connects to your PC using a 2.4 gigahertz wireless dongle that you can see here that gives you a decent range of up to 15 meters. It also allows you to use the headset for up to 20 hours with the battery life. And I'll talk to you about battery a bit later on. This headset sports 50 mil drivers that are capable of between 20 hertz and 20,000 hertz in terms of frequency response. So it's not quite as capable in terms of the range of audio that it can deliver. It's not a high res headset like the Virtuoso. This microphone is also detachable though, which is a bonus if you don't want to use it, but it also has blue voice technology, which is a custom bit of tuning within the software that allows you to tune the microphone. It also has a USB-C connection, so you can plug it into your PC and charge it that way and use it while plugged in too. The Virtuoso, as you'll see, has a very different design to the Logitech. They're both premium looking headsets though, in my mind, and they're both flexible with nice padded headbands and good solid build quality. I certainly found that the G Pro X Wireless was the more comfortable of the two, and I'll talk to you about why as we go through, but they both have a good clamping force and sit nicely on the head. The Virtuoso has a really nicely adjustable headband though. You can see that it not only turns and twists and bends nicely, the ear cups turn in and out, which allows you to customize the fit and get it to sit over your ears really nicely. It also has faux leather ear cups, which block out a fair amount of external noise. And that headband extends really well too. So you should find that even if you have a large noggin, you can get this headset to fit on your head. However, I do personally prefer the aesthetic of the G Pro X Wireless. I felt that that is a nicer looking headset and is a more comfortable fit for me personally. This is obviously going to vary from person to person. But as you'll see again, it has a nice padded headband to it. it. Also has some nice ear cups and a nice finish on it as well. Some really nice Logitech styling with the pro logo on the headband and the outer. It also has a very nicely extendable headband. And again, the ear cups will tilt inwards and 
give you a good clamping force and a nice comfortable fit. I found it was wonderful to wear. I have had some people in the comments that they found it uncomfortable though, so it's obviously a personal preference, but for me, I found it a delight to wear, but it does lack in terms of connectivity compared to the Virtuoso, and I'll talk to you a bit more about that in a minute. The Virtuoso XT also has some RGB lighting, some very subtle RGB lighting on the Corsair logo on the outer ear cup, which means that you can customize that lighting with an IQ and show it off a bit more. But both these headsets are very understated in their overall design. Now I want to talk to you a bit about the ear cup design. So on the Corsair Virtuoso XT, it has round ear cups and they are memory foam padded faux leather ear cups. So they block out a fair amount of external noise, but unfortunately I find them to be a little bit uncomfortable. They're not large enough. They're not deep enough. They're a bit too shallow on the inside and also towards the driver, which means that I felt a bit of unnecessary pressure on the top of my ears and on the outer edge of my ears which essentially meant that after a few hours, they were uncomfortable to wear. I was hoping these were upgraded from the SE, but they don't seem to be. They are a bit more padded. Perhaps the memory foam cushioning is a bit better, but they're not deep enough still. So unfortunately, they just nagged at my ears over time. You can see that the memory foam is very good though. It does allow for a nice bit of cushioning in that way. And they certainly do block out a fair amount of external noise, which is great if you're trying to focus on your game or listening to music or whatever else. And obviously, as you can see, those are removable, so you can upgrade them and swap them out with something else, something aftermarket purchase. So it is possible to get some other ear cups mm -hmm. if you too aren't comfortable with the overall design. So that is something. They twist off, so it's fairly easy to get them off. They are held on quite tight, but with a bit of a convincing you can get them off. The Logitech G Pro X Wireless is definitely more comfortable in terms of the ear cup design. They are larger. They're not terribly deep, but they are larger and they cover the ear better, at least for me personally. They also have this very soft velour style ear cushioning, which is very similar to that on the Astro A50 Wireless. And that's because this is owned by Logitech and they own Astro and therefore this sort of amalgamation between the two means that you now benefit from very comfortable setup. The G Pro X also comes with two different sorts of ear cups included in the box as standard, so it's not an additional purchase. You get the very soft ones installed, or you can go for the faux leather ones that are also included, and you can swap those out, and I'll show you the process for doing that in a second. It's really nice to have that option included in the box. But again, you can see they're not terribly deep, and so depending on the size of your ears, comfort is going to be a mixed bag. I mean, it's personal preference, as I said, for me, they're larger top to bottom, which means that they are more comfortable. I don't have pressure on my ears in unnecessary ways. The faux leather versions obviously block out a bit more external noise. And so I need to focus on the sound a bit more. And that is certainly a bonus of that design. They are fiddly to get on and off though there's a lip around the edge of the driver which the ear cups then sit over you, they take some real convincing to get on and off and uh, these are uh, certainly fiddly to do that but it's easy enough to do and it's really nice to have them included in the box as well as a carry case and all the other things that you need now while i'm messing about with this in the background to demonstrate just how awkward it is I want to talk to you a bit about sound because obviously that's a very important aspect of it. The G Pro X Wireless, in my mind, has good sound. It has DTS Headphone X 2.0 surround sound. And as I said, you'll get the best audio on PC. I don't know what it's like on console because I used it on PC exclusively. The 50mm drivers are certainly loud enough, but the audio range isn't anywhere near as big as the Virtuoso XT. I've heard some people complain that the Virtuoso has a flat sound. I didn't find that on PC. I find that it has a decent sound if you've got it set up correctly with... Dolby Atmos surround sound, which is the difference between the surround sound audio. You get a good range of audio and a good positional audio from both headsets. You also have a much better range in theory with the Virtuoso, with it getting up to 96 kilohertz, 24 bit audio when plugged in with USB C on PC, whereas the G Pro X Wireless just doesn't have that capability. So it's nowhere near as good in terms of high res audio. It just can't deliver that same sound. However, it is still rich and I still enjoyed using it. I thought it was good 
for movies and music and obviously for gaming good positional audio and a good surround sound too another thing that's worth talking about is that in the manual they show you that it is possible to remove the outer bit of the driver to access the battery and so when you take that ear cup off you'll see there are a number of screw holes you can use a screwdriver to then remove those screws and access the battery and there's a bit in the manual within there to tell you how to do it i unfortunately found that i couldn't get them off i tried i couldn't convince it to come off but it's interesting that they've shown that this is possible so it shows it's user removable battery included within there so long term this might be a great addition to this headset it means it will keep go in because you'll be able to swap the battery out and replace it there's nothing that i know of that you can do with the virtuoso xt so over time the battery is obviously going to degrade on both headsets and it might be a problem now the virtuoso xt is certainly the more capable headset what you'll see as i've already talked to you about is there's a 3.5 mil connection you've got usb wired connection for the high res audio you also have bluetooth connectivity which is something that is sorely lacking on the G Pro X. Unfortunately, it doesn't have 3.5 mil and it certainly doesn't have Bluetooth. So there are a multitude of connectivity options with the Virtuoso XT. The Virtuoso also wins because it has dual connectivity. So for example, you can use it wirelessly with a slipstream wireless dongle plugged into your PC. And then you can turn on the Bluetooth with these separate controls down here. Press and hold that button to turn the Bluetooth on pair it with your phone you can then listen to music on your phone or watch youtube videos on your phone while also having audio playing from your pc whether that's game audio or whatever else you're doing and that separate audio source is playing at the same time which is really good because of that 3.5 mil connection you can also plug in an external mic and monitor that as well the gpro x wireless by comparison seems a bit archaic because there's no 3.5 mil connection there's no bluetooth connectivity you can simply just plug it into your pc or use the wireless dongle and that's it there's a mic mute button on the rear and easy volume adjustment as well as obviously that usb c charging port on the left hand side on the underside fairly understated in terms of the controls the virtuoso controls are a lot more detailed because you have the dual con connectivity controls and the options for that there's also a multi-function button on the bluetooth button that allows you to do things like pause and play music and other things so it's very easy to be able to do different things with it so the gpro x wireless isn't as funky but what you will see from these close-up shots is that the gpro x certainly looks the business a very nice looking headset with a really nice aesthetic to it i think personally if you aren't bothered about having a massive different amount of connection options and you just want a headset that delivers good sound and good positional audio and nice comfort all day long then this is one to consider the g pro x wireless also has the bonus of the microphone which i talked to a bit about earlier on one of the selling points of the mic on this is that it uses blue voice technology so within logitech's g hub software you have access to blue voice which is essentially the ability to adjust your microphone on the fly live which means that you can customize the sound of it in a sort of post-processing way but live which is pretty interesting check out the review for more on that one of the things that i wanted to demonstrate sadly is that despite the fact that it has a usb-c connection you cannot plug in a usb-c connection from your phone for example and use that to play music it just doesn't work which is sad and seems like a missed opportunity i went from the g pro x wired version which had a 3.5 mil connection and it seemed like they were going to add in the potential for more like other connections with the x wireless and they missed out on those they could have done a lot more with it so what you're seeing at the end of this video hopefully is a real mix of interesting features and specifications hands down the virtuoso xt wins for the overall specs the high res audio probably from the design aesthetic certainly from the microphone capture quality the dual connectivity and other things however i personally found the xt to be less comfortable and if i was given a choice between the two i'd pick the g pro x wireless simply because i was able to wear that all day long 
and I found the fit to be a lot nicer than the Virtuoso XT. I also really like the look of it and it obviously is more affordable as well. It's not as expensive as the Virtuoso, so it's well worth considering and I wouldn't dismiss it because it misses those other features or because it isn't high res because it's still great sounding and a really nice headset. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious, or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.